Center for Environmental Planning and Technology, well known as SEPT University, was established in 1962 by Ahmedabad Education Society. It began with School of Architecture and was gradually followed by Faculty of Planning, Technology, Design and Management over the last 50 years. The introduction of new programs like the MTech in Building Energy Performance introduced in 2015 helps in keeping pace with the development. Our first vibrant batch of nine students consists of architects and civil engineers. It includes fresh graduates and experienced professionals from different parts of India with a common goal of creating energy efficient buildings. There is a Center for Advanced Research in Building Science and Energy otherwise known as CARBS. It is a center for solar passive architecture, green building technologies, clean energy and environment. It is equipped with state-of-the-art equipments to test and experiment the thermophysical and optical performance of building materials and components. It has been accredited by several international laboratories and works in collaboration with them. Renowned professionals and researchers from all over the world often deliver valuable lectures and share their works as part of the CARBS lecture series. One of the biggest achievements of CARBS is the designing and execution of a net zero energy building within the campus. This building is a living laboratory that serves for continuous and in-depth building energy efficiency research. It is operated in natural ventilation mode or in active system mode based on outdoor weather and indoor comfort conditions. It incorporates sophisticated control strategies such as demand ventilation, economizer based on enthalpy, chilled water reset and chiller performance optimization. Well, the faculty provide us with reading materials related to the topic prior to every lecture and we do hands-on exercise or problem solving as a part of assignments for each topic. And in the second part of the semester, we apply this knowledge to learn simulations. In Passive Comfort Lab, students were taught the basics of building physics with weather data, heat transfer and solar geometry. Instruments like weather station, digital power meter, hobo data loggers were used. To study heat transfer through experimentation, students designed solar cookers. We made three solar cookers in group of three, each with their own design, principle and reasoning. Each cooker had its own material properties with different insulation properties and their efficiency were compared. This helped in understanding the basic of heat transfer in building. They also learned to make shading masks for various contexts. New instruments were used for measurement as part of different exercises. Thermal comfort surveys were carried out. A simple model was simulated using design builder with various inputs to apply the concepts learned. The components contributing to heating and cooling load in a room were studied through calculations. The second semester started with the law of thermodynamics. The vapor compression cycle formed the basis of HVAC systems where low pressure liquid eventually turns into high pressure liquid. The main components such as compressor, condenser and evaporator were studied in detail. A simple DC motor was made in class by the students to understand current generation. Students were taught the types and components of HVAC systems. They learned in detail about the system types, distribution types and assembly types. The students were exposed to a wide variety of hands-on experiments and measuring devices as part of the HVAC lab like the particulate counter for measuring particle concentration in air. The students themselves designed and executed the installation of a heat recovery ventilator often called the HRV within the class with all the duct works and wiring work. 
The performance of the instrument was determined by measuring various parameters such as temperature, humidity, air flow rate and pressure using ballometer, CO2 concentration using CO2 loggers. The coefficient of performance was determined and analyzed in groups of four and compared. All these instruments are owned by the department to be used by present and future students. Ventilation is a key component of HVAC. Adequate ventilation comes at a large energy cost. The Heat Recovery Ventilator, or HRV, is a simple device that can save ventilation energy. Exploring the physics of the HRV encompasses many key HVAC concepts. Having learned simulations through Design Builder in the first semester, the HVAC simulations was learned using eQuest to get familiarity with different software. Different combinations of HVAC systems and components were simulated on a base case to study and understand their effects. A site visit to the Net Zero Energy Building in SEPT was made to study in detail about the different kinds of HVAC systems installed there. Similarly, a commercial industry visit to a plant in Ahmedabad was made to study large-scale centralized HVAC system. A lot of emphasis is given here on overall professional development of a student. We have seminar courses to develop visual and verbal communications and discuss what to communicate. Little things about using relevant graphs, labeling and composition are often discussed during our presentations. The Ashray Sept University student chapter was reactivated in October 2015. The student members get to participate in various activities, lecture seminars, design competitions and are also exposed to educational resources and career options. Students learned IESVE software and to incorporate passive strategies in building as part of their first winter school offered at Sept. In the second winter school, the ATMA building in Ahmedabad was studied for an understanding of the response of the design in various climatic zones. Three of us from the university were selected for Ecosperity Young Leaders Dialogue 2015 held in Singapore. The objective was to connect young students with industry experts to discuss sustainable urban planning strategies. More than 150 students from various countries and academic backgrounds were part of it. After completing the course, the major career options available are Energy Consultancy, Policy Intervention, Designing, Daylight Consultancy, HVAC Designing, Green Building Consultancy and Research. Looking at the projected rise in built-up area and energy demand, the learning here can guide us to achieve better energy security. The main learning here is that we now know what comfort parameters such as an air velocity of 3 meters per second feels like. We can look at specifications of HVAC systems and optimize them for better efficiency. We can also analyze data and intuitively figure out if there is any wrong data during research.